Warning. Warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Well, onto the genocide route. Why is a sperm patting my head? Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Good entry, Alfies. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray... sticky ones? Oh, gross. How is this E10? Howdy, Pickle. Smile for the camera. Ha! <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> Good prank, Asriel. Pickle, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Pickle, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Pickle, please, wake up. Why were they recording during this? Like, the camera belongs to the dreamers, right? So who was like, Pickle's dying, gotta record this? Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I ejected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to make those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. See them like this, I knew. I could tell their families about it. I could tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. I mean, they're still alive, right? Sure, they melted into each other, but they're still alive. That must have put you closer to figuring out how to stabilize determination. Theoretically, couldn't you create an artificial soul with that determination extract? Why not inject a living monster with determination? I know you can't inject into their soul directly, but why not... I don't know, have them expose their soul the way Frisk does during a fight? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? But... it already is living. A flower is a plant, and all plants are living things. Sure, it may not have a soul, but it's already living. Why not an inanimate object like a toy? See, this is what I'm saying. The flower didn't need a soul in order to be injected with determination. How then does Flowey have it? Why not inject determination into monsters that already there? do have a soul, especially since you know it works and just break through the barrier? Tori, you came back. Do not tarry me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and feed everyone peacefully. That would not have been a peaceful way to free the monsters. Do you not remember what happened to your son? He crossed the barrier and tried to take the human to their village only for humans to beat the shit out of him because they thought Asriel killed the kid. How do you think the humans would react if they saw that a random goat man actually did kill six humans? Yeah, Asgore went a little power crazy and revenge hungry, but your plan would be causing another war, you dumbass. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. To be fair, everyone down here seems to be fine. No one seemed particularly miserable, and sure they want to return to the surface, but... I wouldn't say anyone's in despair. You're right. What did Sans say earlier? Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do... really worth it? Yeah, well said, Sans. Hello, I'm Torian. Are you the human spring? It is nice to meet you. Uh... Yeah? Uh, nice to meet you, too. Hey, Escor, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Okay, does anybody else find it weird that nobody knows who the Queen is? I understand that she's been gone for a long time, but... Haven't monsters been around for a long time, too? Alfie's even has an entry that says that the first golden flower appeared just before the Queen left, meaning she knows who the Queen is. But here she's like, OMG, who's that? Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may... Know each other? 
Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Papyrus. Wait a second. You know his brother's name, but you never told each other your own names? Sometimes you just gotta, um, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. Uh, it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! What's Metaton even doing here? Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then, uh, don't hold anything back! <laughs> Why were they just turning their heads? Their lips would have never reached each other. We're with you too! Come on! You've got this! You've got to win! You can do it! My friends are my power, cliche- What are any of you doing here? Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. I've only been using a fraction of my real power, cliche. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? What do you mean, probably? I didn't even bring it up. All I said was that I was a human. Mm -hmm. Now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. The cat girl wants to have a pet cat? Isn't that like a human wanting a pet baby or something? Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. Well, you don't need to, though. The ruins are open. Just send someone in there to get the spiders. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV. But I bet none of those shows are as good as Metatons. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. Good talk, kid. Hey, who are you? Uh, same. I've never seen you until now. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Napsablook here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Oh, Metaton. I'm a huge fan. Does... Oh, does Napstablook not know who Metaton is or who he used to be? And more importantly, why doesn't Metaton just call him Blukey? Who cares? You're working together anyway. The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the Earth is made of dirt. You realize you've been living in a place called the Underground, right? How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Eh, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got free from the underground? Suddenly BuzzFeed. Now I can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hmm. When humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Why would they call it humans and humans? You don't call it monsters and monsters. <laughs> Looks like I don't have to worry about jokes anymore. Hmm. I was gonna say a joke here, but I really don't know another one. Good talk, Scarf Monster. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Does that mean this is technically a harem now? Ribbit, ribbit. So, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press B to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing B. You've really matured, haven't you? What the hell are you talking about? I listened to you the first time! Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, sorry. That's brutal. Tori, huh? Gee, it looks like someone else is boning Toriel now. Yes! Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please, help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... Barring the fact that neither of these words should have an apostrophe, apparently other cartoons don't have swords or guns. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go and make a good first impression! And that's the story of how Papyrus terrorized an entire village, thus starting the second war between humans and monsters. Good to see all the monsters enjoying their lives in the human world. What's that?
Where are the humans? Oh, don't worry about that. You expect me not to get hit by any of the 883 people that backed this game on Kickstarter? Man, that was so fun and charming. Well, time to kill everyone I grew to love and care for.